There are four standard views in the FAST exam. The pericardial view, the right upper quadrant view, including the interfaces of the diaphragm and the liver, and the liver and the right kidney in Morrison's pouch, the left upper quadrant view, including the diaphragm spleen interface and the spleen kidney interface, and the suprapubic view. Start by viewing the heart using the subxiphoid or the parasternal view to ensure the gain is set appropriately. Fluid within the heart should appear black. The presence of fluid outside the heart within the pericardial sac is abnormal and is consistent with pericardial tamponade. The right upper quadrant view is a sagittal view in the mid-axillary line at approximately the 10th or 11th rib space. Visualize the diaphragm, liver, and kidney, as well as the entire hepatorenal fossa or Morrison's pouch, looking for fluid. In a traumatically injured patient, the presence of fluid between the diaphragm and liver, or liver and kidney, is blood until proven otherwise. The left upper quadrant view is a sagittal view in the mid-axillary line at approximately the 8th or 9th rib space. The diaphragm, spleen, and kidney interfaces are visualized, and as in the upper right quadrant, any fluid visualized is blood until proven otherwise. The suprapubic view is a transverse view that is best to obtain prior to placement of a Foley catheter. In this view, the area behind the bladder is examined for the presence of fluid which, if present, is abnormal and consistent with hemorrhage in the trauma patient.